Yeah. Um, All right. Before I get into the meat of the press conference, I just want <laughs> to uh, thank uh, the task force members uh, who are here. Uh, obviously, my, my team, uh, Chief Investigator Rich Zacharis, uh, and our ADAs and investigators and analysts. Uh, we have uh, oh, NICMIC, which is the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. I want to thank them for their assistance. They're not present at uh, the, uh, the press conference, but as you'll see, they were integral in, uh, with their assistance in this case, uh, in this instance. We also have our partners from the Suffolk County PD, uh, Commissioner Rob Waring, actually Rob Waring to my left, he's sneaky, uh, Chief of Detectives Daryl Simmons, uh, as well as Deputy Inspector Sean Barron and uh, their team of investigators. We have uh, the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we have the New York State Police, led by uh, Lieutenant St. Drew. And you're going to hear from uh, Lieutenant St. Drew in a moment. We also have uh, the FBI and their team. We thank them for uh, uh, their, their assistance. We have su uh, Senior Supervising Resident Agent uh, Don sure. Osbacher and some investigators uh, on the Gilgo Task Force. We thank them for their assistance and for their presence. Uh, the Secret Service, we want to thank them for their help. <coughs> They're not present at this. Oh, Y'all are back with some scary, clear UFO footage compilation. That's right, we're back with another long compilation for you guys to enjoy and do some more research. However, it's important to remember, while some of us find UFOs extremely... It's important that this victim get their name back. Uh, and just as importantly, uh, the, the people who cared for this individual get answers. So we are hopeful that with this new information mm -hmm. and the community's assistance, we will be able to identify Asian Doe and, and bring a resolution to the case. Um, before I get into the meat of the he press conference, brings I just want to right next uh, thank uh, the task force members uh, who are here. Uh, obviously, my, my team, uh, Chief Investigator mm -hmm. Rick Zacharis, uh, and our ADAs and investigators and analysts. Uh, we have uh, Nick Mick, which is the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. I want to thank them for their assistance. <laughs> They're not present at uh, the, uh, the press conference, but as you'll see, they were integral in uh, with their assistance in this case, uh, in this instance. We also have our partners from the Suffolk County PD, uh, Commissioner Rob Waring. Actually, Rob Waring is to my left. He's sneaky. Uh, Chief of Detectives Daryl Simmons uh, oh, as got well. It as Deputy Inspector Sean Barron and uh, their team of investigators. Bring here. We have uh, the Suffolk County Sheriff's oh, Office. Here. Uh, we have the New York State Police led by uh, Lieutenant St. Drew. And you can hear from uh, Lieutenant St. Drew in a moment. We also have uh, the FBI and their team. We thank them for uh, uh, their, their assistance. We have su uh, Senior Supervising Resident Agent uh, Don Osbacher and some investigators uh, on the Gilgo Task Force, we thank them for their assistance, uh, for their presence. Uh, the Secret Service, we want to thank them for their help. <clears throat> They're not present at this uh, this press conference, but they've been uh, helping with the electronic evidence. We also have uh, received, in this instance, uh, assistance from the New York City Police Department, uh, who are not here. But again, we want to help. Uh, we want to uh, help. Uh, thank the uh, NYPD helping us get, gain access to uh, the significant Asian population in the city. Now, uh, before I get into that new information, uh, I just wanted to uh, discuss with you all uh, where you can find uh, the visuals that have been provided to my left. The new information and uh, visuals provided here today will be provided to the press. <clears throat> they will be posted on Nick Mick's website and their help ID me Facebook page, and again, this is a place where uh, members of the public can go uh, and look at uh, pictures and information concerning <laughs> missing uh, victims of crime uh, and provide uh, law enforcement with information. Uh, there's also a BICAP public web page and law enforcement uh, repository. Uh, BICAP is a crime, uh, 